Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and in this video uh, we're going to be looking at how to upload multiple files using the Fetch API. Um, so obviously the main advantage of using Fetch to upload files is they are able to do it asynchronously, which means your users don't need to actually refresh their page or get redirected when uploading files like a traditional HTML form. Alright, so um, uh, obviously this video is about the front end, about the client side, um, but I am going to be uh, showing you two examples, one using PHP as my server side and one using Node.js with Express as my server side. Um, that way we can see how these two server side technologies um, handle the multiple file uploads differently. Okay, um, So let's go inside my text editor here and take a look at the current directory structure. Alright, so we have here the index.html file, um, which is quite blank and empty at the moment. Um, I've also got this upload.php file, which is uh, obviously my PHP side of things. And um, this script basically is just going to dump out all of the files that were received by the server. And also, um, for demonstration purposes, it's going to move them to a directory called uploads. Alright, and for the Node.js, uh, we're using Express, as I said and uh, Malta to handle the file uploads. Um, now in this example, I'm simply just going to be uh, logging to the console what files were received by the server. Um, this won't actually move them to a new directory. All right. And I've also got the, um, the Node.js server running in a separate terminal window right here. So obviously uh, when files get posted to this, uh, to this root or to this server, um, they'll appear here. Um, in the console.log. Alright, so uh, let's go inside the index.html and begin um, by first creating a HTML form um, which will be used to of course submit the files but because we're using fetch um, we'll just need um, the file input itself and also a submit button. So go ahead and create a new uh, input type of file. You can get rid of the name attribute that is not required for fetch uploads um, and we can just say as an ID, uh, let's just say INP file. Okay. Now also, um, one of the most important things is of course adding the multiple attribute to your file input. So um, if I was to now save this and refresh the browser, um, I can now choose files and select multiple files. Um, you know when I go and select them. So um, that's what the multiple attribute allows you to do. Okay, um, so back inside the text editor, let's also add a button which will be used to, um, of course, submit the actual um, the actual files. So we can say button and for an ID here, say ID of uh, BTN upload and of course inside here, some text, so upload files. So now um, I can just save this, refresh the browser and we get this result right here. So I can go ahead and choose my two files. And now when I press upload, this is where um, we're going to add the JavaScript to, of course, upload those files using fetch. Okay. Um, so let's go back inside here and go inside the JavaScript and begin by getting um, two references or a reference to both these two HTML elements. So uh, let's make uh, a new constant called IMP file equal to document .get element by ID. I'm going to pass inside here, of course, the ID of the file input IMP file. Okay, I can make two of these and do the same thing for the BTN upload. Okay, so now we have these two inputs referenced in JavaScript. All right, so when the upload button gets pressed, we're going to fire off this function inside here. So um, this whole process uh, basically has, I think, two main steps. The first step is to construct what data you're going to be sending to the server. And second step is, of course, actually firing off that fetch request. All right, so I'm just going to make a new constant here called form data equal to a new form data instance. So um, this is like a bit of a special JavaScript object which is used for holding um, form data to be eventually submitted to your web server. Okay, um, so in this case, we're going to be storing files inside the form data. All right, so let's go down here and for demonstration, I'm going to first console.log, uh, going to log imp file.files. 
Okay, so um, this files property is an array like object um, which contains all of the files you have selected on this file input. So I'm going to save this, refresh the browser, and then I'm going to choose two files, then head over to the developer console and then press upload files and we get here a file list. So a file list is uh, very similar to an array um, containing two elements, um, our, our two files right here. Right, so sample1.txt and sample2.txt. So um, basically, we're going to loop through this file list and then add the data or add these files to our form data object. All right, so back inside here, we're going to remove this and say for const file of uh, uh, imp, imp file.files. Okay, so for each file, we are going to say form data dot append. And then here you're going to pass in two things, um, your key and value pair to be sent to the server. So this, this part is basically like um, doing the same thing as if you were adding the name attribute to a regular um, form element. Okay, so um, we're basically emulating this name attribute inside our um, JavaScript. So um, the first value here, the key, will be the equivalent of the name. So let's just say, for example, my files as the name for um, both of our files to be submitted. Okay, so having my files here is the same as having my files inside the name attribute of your input. Okay. And we can just put a comma here and say file as the second argument. So basically, a new key value pair, my files is equal to um, one of these files. Okay, I'll just remove uh, the name from here. Okay, now I'm also just going to uh, loop through the form data object to actually see what you know what it now looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say for const key the value of form data. Okay, so looping through uh, these two newly created key value pairs inside form data. We're going to say console.log. I'll say key and log out the key right there and do the same thing for the value. So the value and then the value. Okay, I can save this, refresh the page, choose those two same files. Um, upload and now we get here key my files key my files and this is file number one and file number two so different files but the same key so um, that is one way of submitting files you can also um, add a new index for example my files one and then my files two for each file but I think this way is a pretty good way and uh, definitely uh, what I've seen in many examples um, in the past. So definitely I think uh, stick with the same uh, key for both of your files or um, for all of your files. Okay. Um, so the way the web servers interpret these files is important here because uh, PHP doesn't actually like um, having uh, no square brackets at the end of your name slash key um, when submitting multiple files. But other web servers um, such as Node.js with Express is perfectly fine with having um, this like that. So um, first I'm going to be submitting it like this and then running the uh, Node server and seeing what's being received and then after we're going to add the two square brackets and submit to PHP. Okay. So anyway, let's go down here and then fire off the fetch request. So we're going to say fetch, and I believe I'm running this on uh, port 3000. So I'm going to say here HTTP localhost on port 3000 and the upload route. Okay. So we can go inside here and pass some options to the fetch request. We can say a method of post and body as being form data. Okay, so here by submitting the body as form data, um, the JS knows that this is a form data object, so it's going to automatically set the enc type of um, the request to be uh, multi part slash form data. All right, and if anything goes wrong when submitting these files, I'm just going to say console.error. Okay, so now I'm going to save this, uh, refresh the browser, and hopefully we'll have a successful file upload. So I'm going to choose these files, these two sample files, press open, 
press upload in the network tab we have here uh, details of the request so we can see here we get done from the server okay and headers uh, it was a post request and uh, down here we can see the content type was set to multi-part slash form data and of course down here we have the form data itself so uh, two entries for the my files name slash key okay and inside the uh, terminal window we can see that we have an array here in JavaScript with both of the files being successfully submitted and accessible by um, the server side okay so as I said with PHP it does not like the fact that you're um, that you know you'd be having no brackets at the end of your uh, name so PHP actually requires you to have those two brackets so I'm gonna put these two brackets here and then go inside the fetch request and change this to say upload.php so it points to our PHP file okay I'm gonna save this and uh, refresh you know what uh, yeah I'll, I'll refresh here and uh, choose those two files and press upload again this time going of course to the PHP file now the response from the PHP um, contains the array of the files received so we can see here that PHP has successfully received both files sample1 and sample2.txt okay um, so with that whole thing of choosing whether or not to have um, you know your two brackets here I think in most cases you're gonna to wanna to have your two brackets because you know what Node.js and Express and I think basically every other web server um, is gonna support the brackets being inside your name so I think um, just for widespread support and compatibility um, you should be using uh, the two brackets at the end of your um, of your name key okay um, so that is how you can upload uh, multiple files using the fetch API Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.